Hi, I'm Nancy Hill from The Rubber Buggy, and I wanted to go over a tutorial on just folding this and how to assemble. You can read my blog on more of the exact measurements and some of the supplies that I used at The Rubber Buggy. And on my blog, I will also have a list, and here's the exact place for this tutorial along with another one, and this will be on my blog along with the video. I wanted to show you when I'm making this, I have two different score tools from the rubber buggy. This is a score pal, and this is divided in lots of little ticks and increments. This is the Tonic Studio, and it is divided in one fourth inch and this will be your cutter and this will be your score and then if you want to only be cutting and you have long paper you can click it off or put it back on or take the other one off and there it's really nice because it's divided into the fourths and also you have a ruler on the other side that opens up and you can see that you can score and cut larger pieces of paper this is called the explosion uh, pop-up panels. And as you can see, it's divided into three different sections here. And I'll be going over on how to put this together because I tried to write it and it's very difficult to explain it in words. And on this tutorial, I use score tape to make this go a little faster rather than glue, which I prefer. But score tape is fantastic. It comes in different sizes at the rubber buggy. First off, you start with cutting these five by seven, and this will go on, you can cut four of them, but I'm just throwing out some paper so you can see how this goes. And you'll be putting them on both sides, and then when you are finished with the card, you'll be doing it on this side, just like I did here. Here is this side, the front side, and I glued the five by sevens on each side, okay? Now, I turn this tape over to make it sh so that I don't accidentally get stuck on this. And you'll be cutting one 10 by seven inch paper. And this is number A, and it corresponds with the instructions I wrote, wrote for you. And you'll score at two and a half, five inches, and seven and a half. So, I take the score tape off, I bend this slightly over and place this here. And I do the same for this side. And I place it here. So much easier if you just bend this and push back. Okay, just like this. Now let's go to number B. And my instructions say cut two at six inches and five inches score lengthwise at one and a half inches three inches and four and a half inches so this will be the inside this side right here it looks like a little block right here so to do so i take one side and i place it right here I, if you use glue, it's so much easier to do it this way. And I take this side and align it and put it right here. And there you go. This will be B. And I do this for B each side. Take the tape off. Here I put it right here. And take this, bend it over, and this will be my two sides here. Now, this side, you can go ahead and do this one, C, and this is a, a very fun one. And here, 
you put this right here and then you go back and take this and this will be your center right here now these sides you will be taking this on this side and the one with the panel on this side and these are this one as you can tell so my first step is taking this off first and I lay it here and I bend it here and then I take this and bend it over like this and there you get your panel. Whoops, I might have had to, oh, I did that the opposite direction. This goes on the other side. See, I make mistakes even in this film. I put this here first, excuse me, and then lay this here. Now it goes like this. And hopefully this one is getting it done right again. Here I lay this right here. And then I, I fold it. And fold this back. And rub it this way. And there I got my assembly of the card. Okay. If you are wanting to have an extra piece on the inside, when you cut it out, you'll let's say this one you're cutting, uh, let's say this one at six and five in inches. Well, then it will be five and three fourths inches, and uh, excuse me, uh, I'm getting a little confused here. Okay, this one is a 10 by 7. So this would be, if I'm going to make this into a cream, I just cut it 1 fourth inch less. So this will be 9 and 1 fourth and 6 and 3 fourths. And you do that for each of the panels. Okay. So th this is how you assemble this together. And again, you can see how I did this. I tried to do it with different colors and all these supplies you can get at the rubber buggy but if you visit my blog you'll get the written instructions as well besides the video so thank you for visiting and goodbye